Hello and welcome to an online demo of the Press Reader app. To find the Press Reader app in your app store, go to your device's app store. So on an Apple device, it is the Apple App Store. And search for Press Reader. You will then see the Press Reader app. They're available for you. And all you need to do is click on Get, or if you've checked it out, sorry, if you've downloaded it before, it's the cloud to re download. Within two seconds, Press Reader will download onto your device and then you can open it. Once it's open, you can choose to receive notifications or not. I'm going to allow it. So the first thing you will need to do as a library member using the service for the first time is click on sign in in the bottom left hand corner. And if you click on library in the bottom left corner, It will now give you an option to choose your um, library or institution. So if you click on the drop down box, you can choose to let it allow you allow the app to access your location settings. I'm going to click don't allow for now and then type in start of your library and I'm choosing our demo site. And then you just need to type in your library card number. <coughs> and my number six seven one nine eight three. Can choose whether I want to say signed in or not. I'm going to leave it as that and sign in. You may also get the option to put in your pin if your library card. Um, and pin come up as an option, just put your pin in there as well and sign in. Um, a little box pops up um, saying if you want to become a, a new user, user registered with our um, Press Reader service, you can enter your email address, create a password, and it will then remember you based on your card details. Or if you don't want to do that, then you can simply press cancel. There are a few features that you won't be able to make use of if you do pass by this opportunity. Um, just a few little things such as um, being able to um, add bookmarks and save bookmarks on your own collection um, and share content or add comments or rate content. Um, which you will see as I go through the online demonstration. But if you just cancel it, then you'll be able to make use of um, pretty much all other functionality within the app. So I'm going to click cancel. Um, because I am associated with um, the WF House demo library, I keep clicking on it on state, um, it will pop up with a window that lets me know that I have access to the WF House um, complimentary press reader service. So I can choose to select a, comp um, a publication from this screen here, or I can click the X in the top left hand corner. And I can view the home screen and make my moves from there. So the first column you can see is um, containing categories and so it choice of different categories you scroll through including news if you want to go directly to newspapers countries and languages so you can search for various different publications within those options the next column that you see is called sponsored access and this is where um, if you have the app on your device and you go to a nearby, uh, if you go to a location and they have um, hotspot access through Press Reader enabled, 
It will mean that if you're in that vicinity, you don't even have to log on to their Wi-Fi. Because you have access to the Press Reader app, you will have access to a Press Reader hotspot at that location to um, browse through their content on the Press Reader app. Um, free of charge and there might be a limited time period for that like three hours or something that is assigned to the hotspot but that access is there available for you so if you want to enable that on your device you will need to go into your device's location settings by clicking on that enable location services button at the bottom um, and also within the app itself, there is a hotspot setting. So again, you can go into there and you can choose to allow it or not. Um, if you just want to experience Press Reader through your library authority and not receive that complimentary access elsewhere, then that's fine. You don't have to do anything. You can just ignore that column. Featured then suggest some featured titles suggested to you by Press Reader. Um, and then other titles are then shown of top magazines, top newspapers, and recently read um, newspapers across and magazines across Press Reader. But then we also have these buttons at the bottom here, magazines, newspapers, and another column, United Kingdom, where you can choose particular publications under each of those categories. So if I decide to go into newspapers, I can click on newspapers and again, categories show here on the left hand side, but these categories are associated to newspapers only now. And um, the newspapers on the right are, as I said, just newspapers. And you can search by country and language as well. So if I click on country and then go to um, Australia, for example, you can see all the different Australia content here in, under the newspaper category. I then also have regions and it tells you um, content from different regions within Australia. And go back again. And now I'm gonna go back into languages. And again, in here, it shows you the various different publications under the newspaper category um, produced in various different languages. If I click on Italian, it will give me all the newspapers available in Italian. I'm going to go back now. And what I'll do now is click on an example of a newspaper so I can show you how to actually read um, a newspaper of your choice. So if you see something that you want to read, for example, the Daily Mail in the top left hand corner, all you need to do is use your finger to simply click on the title. And then from here, you can see that you also uh, can have access to supplements that come along with any newspaper. So the weekend supplement is available for the Daily Mail. So you have actually got access to that supplement here in the top right hand corner. You can also see um, the latest issues on the right so you can have a look at any of the newspapers from the past um, couple of weeks. You can also access that by going down and clicking on the um, calendar icon here and you can scroll back to see if I go through the months August, July, June and you can see any of the days that are highlighted black rather than grey um, are the days that we actually have um, that back issue on here for you to access and read. But invariably, it is um, up to 30, sorry, three months worth of publications um, that you will have access to. It all depends on the publisher. So one publisher might have it stipulated as three months of back issues. Another publisher might have a month. Um, it depends on the individual publisher. So the Daily Mail, as you can see, it's the Daily Mail, not the Mail on Sunday that we're looking at here, which is why Sundays are greyed out. The Daily Mail um, goes back three months. You can also choose to auto download. Um, you might choose to have this option set as on so that any time you have access to this service. So at the minute, I've got 30 days 
free access, which means that in the background, um, I could have the every single issue of the Daily Mail in those 30 days automatically be downloaded onto my device. Um, I don't have to go in every day and choose the issue. It will just download for me so that I can access at any point in time. Um, once it is fully downloaded, I am then able to access um, the downloaded um, newspaper and read offline. So I can read it in aeroplane mode if I want to as well. That option is there for you, as well as the option to include supplements or not. So the next thing I'd like to be able to do is um, read it. So if I click on read. I can then choose to scroll through the newspaper using my fingers, zoom in and zoom out if I want to read it that way. Or another way of reading it is I can click on the anything that's highlighted in this blue um, background. If I click on there, it will then open up that particular article in what's called article view. So like a text view, if you like. And then I can read through that particular article on here and then go through the next articles that come up as well. So I can actually read the whole newspaper this way if I want to. And you can see at the bottom there is um, detail about what each page is about as well. In the top right hand corner here are three dots. If you click on those three dots in the top right hand corner, you can choose a different font and a different font size. You can also choose to translate the article as well. So if I click on translate and then if I click on Hindi, for example, It will take a couple of seconds to translate that for me. It is very much dependent on the Wi-Fi speed. And as you can see, it has now translated it into Hindi for me. So I can read that whole article in Hindi and I can scroll through as well and continue reading the rest of the newspaper also translated into Hindi. If I want to revert back to the original, all I need to do is click up here and click to show original and it converts it back into the original text for me. Another feature, again, in the top right hand corner here, if you click on the dots, is listen. And if you click on listen, you have the article read to you as well. And it's read to you in the language of its the original publication. So if I click on listen, I'll demonstrate this to you. So it will read to you the article. You can decide to go through. If you click the top right hand corner here, you can choose to go on to the next article and read it article by article as well. You can also adjust the volume here too. If you click also, if you click on the forward and back arrows down here, it will go back and forward through the articles as well. So you can actually listen to the whole paper um, this way if you wish. To come out of it at any point, simply click done and it will go back into the article for you. So it was done in the top left hand corner. 
Another area where you can actually find more things to do within the article is these dots here. So there's a square of dots next to the article heading. If you click on that square, you can choose to view in page view. So it goes back to viewing as if you were reading the newspaper. It was a physical edition. And this is where there are also things in here that you would have access to if you decided to add your email at the start in the new user box that popped up. Um, this is where you can add a comment on an article, you can save the article to a collection so you can go back and browse at a later date that particular article and save everything together. You could share as well and vote as up or down in terms of um, how you rate the article as good or bad. However, the rest of the um, options here that page view, listen, copy and print, you can access all of these without having um, an account set up against your email address. So if I click on copy, it basically gives me the option of viewing the article here, selecting all the content by clicking the select all icon in the top right hand corner, and then I can copy it into um, anything of my, my choice, like an email, a Word document, whatever I need to use it for. Click cancel in the top left hand corner and that will disappear. Okay, so um, if I come out of that article, I can just click the top left hand corner and then click on anywhere on the page and it will bring up for me anywhere that's not blue, I should say, on the page and it will bring up for me um, thumbnails as well. So I can scroll through, see something I like and click on there. I can go back into article view at any point as well, not just by clicking the blue area. Here we have A with lines underneath it. If I click that, that will also bring, bring me into article view as well at any point. If I want to go back to the home screen, all I need to do is click this back arrow here in the top left hand corner. It will take me initially through to the detail about that particular newspaper. If I click it again, it will take me back to the home screen. 